Okay guys, welcome to another episode of Kambini Quest. It's a series where I go into a convenience store, a Kambini, and uh, find some stuff to try. And so let's get into it. First of all, I got this, uh, it's a burrito, but for those of you who can read here, it's actually a lasagna burrito. So it's got three types of cheese, as well as a lasagna sauce. So I asked her to heat it up just a little, but I mean, it feels quite warm. Usually they sort of tear part of it to let the steam out, but I don't really see where she did that. So yeah, in the past, I've tried a number of burritos from 7-Eleven, and they've all been reasonably good. It's pretty much what you'd expect. Um, this one seems a little bit limp <laughs> compared to some I've tried, but then again, um, that's pretty much it is what it is, if I can even use that expression, but here we go. Eat Tadaki Mask. It tastes like something that Chef Boyardee would have made. The tortilla itself is not quite a proper tortilla. It's more sort of flowery. And the, uh, the filling, I mean, I couldn't tell you what kind of cheeses they were. They're all just sort of blent together, some sort of liquid cheese or something. And the sauce just tastes like canned spaghetti sauce. But yeah, it was 218 yen. So you decide, is that a good deal or not? I mean, I guess it kind of hits the spot. If you're on the go, you want something warm, I mean, it's okay. So I need something to choke this down, so I picked up this drink. Green Dakara. It's not really a sports drink, but it's kind of like a sports drink. Imagine just like water with a light sort of citrus flavor. Yeah, I like it. It's very refreshing. So yeah, it's kind of like a like water with a light sort of citrus flavor, and they kind of kind of brag that there's a bunch of different flavors in here, stuff like lemon grapefruit, uh, mikan, like a mandarin orange, and surprisingly, well there's grape, but surprisingly there's also tomato in there. But it has a nice flavor and it is very refreshing for sure. Okay, so let's get into the next item, which is some fried chicken. You've seen me eat these before. Um, I think one of my most popular videos with JD, we compared I don't think, was it 7-Eleven? It might have been 7-Eleven and Lawson, was it? Or Family Mart, I'm not sure. But we compared two different uh, Kambinis, their fried chicken. So I picked up this one because it was called Spicy Fried Chicken. This was 188 yen, I believe. Mm. Wow. Greasy and chewy. There's a piece of thigh meat. Spicy? Not really. It's about average. At least this one was kind of fresh. Like I said, it's sort of lunchtime, so I'm sure they cooked them up um, within the past hour or so. Um, so it's still warm. It's still kind of fresh-ish and reasonably tasty. But it's, you know, nothing, uh, nothing too wonderful. Okay, and finally I picked up this sandwich. This is a strawberry custard and whipped cream sandwich. It was 300 yen. And I guess this time of year strawberries are very popular. So let's dive right in. Now I have had fruit sandwiches before um, from a convenience store and I was kind of surprised that they were actually pretty good. So as you can see it's got three, three halves at least of strawberries. Let me open this up. There we go, maybe we can get a better look there. Can you see? <laughs> so at least there is a piece sort of hidden in the back there. Anyhow, itadakimasu. Mm. 
thing about Japanese bread, especially the white bread, which is pretty much all of the bread that you can get here. Occasionally you can find other types of bread. Um, I have seen at convenience stores sometimes they bring out a sort of whole wheat kind of option just to seem, you know, level up kind of thing. But typical Japanese bread actually goes really well with the cream and the fruit. It almost, I wouldn't say cake, but it's sort of going towards that direction. So it's, it's a good combination. Okay, so there you go. Let me know in the comment section if this would be something you would try. Um, me personally, I sort of wasn't really interested in trying it until I did try it and then I found out that it's actually pretty good. So I guess that's it for this video. I'm gonna finish this off and head on my way. I just wanna say thanks to you guys for watching my videos and thanks for all your support and we'll catch you guys in the next video.